Well, hello and welcome back to my channel. This is Didsbury Art Studio and I'm Sally. Ooh. So what we're gonna to see now. What we're gonna do today is I did say in a couple of videos back when I did the paper manipulation video that I would develop some of those ideas into calico sampling. I'm gonna do that today with the intention of maybe building on top of the mannequin. All right then, hope you enjoy this video. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe, and let's get going. After I did these little paper cones, I have been preparing some fabric ones. So in exactly the same way, I've cut out the shape and I've just used some PVA glue and I've just popped them on top of some pens, pencils, to dry it off. And right now, I'm just about to do one of these large quills. And again, the same process. Just gonna roll the fabric like that. You can decide on what thicknesses you want. I think that's enough. I don't wanna go any thicker than that. And then let's get your glue. I'm just using some PVA glue here. And I've just been making a few here like that. So I've left a couple of them with some threads hanging out and I'm just gonna do a pile of them different sizes. I'm going to be making a couple of these and now I'm going to put some glue down this little side here. Layla keeps like opening up one of her eyes and just checking where this glue is going. She doesn't like the smell. So I'm just going to fold that down, glue that together and then I'm going to make another loop here a strip of glue down there fix that down And I've got these little clips. You've seen me use these before. I'm just gonna keep it all together. Do the same on this bit here, over here as well. And then you just carry on like that. So you're just making little loops. So I'm going to do this one next. These are made up of little circles with a slit, little cut through to the centre. So I'm going to do that on this fabric. Okay, I'm going to see how far I can get on this long strip here and just glue these down. Whoa! No! I need to do that. Come here. Twisty, twisty. There we go. we go that just needs to be left to dry obviously now I've just kind of moved a couple of the shapes around and filled in some of the gaps as well and for this one I want to use this strip 
and I kind of wanted to make some shapes like this. Let's make them different lengths. And once I've decided on what sort of shape I want to do, I'll just put a load of glue down here and clip it. That's kind of cool. So that's done. I just used some PVA glue inside the bottom bit there, clipped it on either side, and that really needs to dry overnight now. I'll just leave that to do its thing. What I'm doing here is I am using my sewing gauge an inch across and making these box pleats. So it's an inch to here. So I've done one, two, three, four, five, six. And then what I'm doing on the back here is I'm just doing a tiny stitch in the middle to get these two to sit side by side. And that's how they're looking. I'll just trim off some of the edges. So this is the side that we're going to be working with. So what we're going to do on this box pleat is I've threaded up a needle and over here, actually, I don't know if this is, I thought I'd be creative <laughs> and put the presser foot in the viewfinder, but wait, do you want to see my face? What I'm going to do next then is grab either side of the box pleat, pinch them in the middle and just secure that with a little stitch. And I'm really looking forward to seeing how this looks. I have done it with ribbons before, but this fabric's slightly thicker. So I'm just really curious about how it's going to come out. Yes. Ooh, ooh, ooh. That looks cool. Like it. Nice one. I'll show you again. So you're literally just pinching from one side to the other into the center. We have got quite a bit of fraying going on here. I'm not worried about that. <laughs> I always say that because well, I always say that. I said that in another video recently, but um, there was a comment at some point where someone had said, oh, that's frayed a lot. It depends, right? My work can be a bit messy. Um, can be. I don't think it's as messy as some people's can be, but, you know, it depends on whether you're looking for that desired effect or not, whether it's a problem to you. In this case, no, it's not a problem to me. So, just need to put a little knot in there. Boom, there we go. So my intention in a bit is when I've got all these samples together, I just want to try them out on the top of the mannequin. And there's two done. And I'm going to just get the rest done. Okay, we're all done. Look how cool that is. I love that. I cannot wait to try that on the mannequin in a bit. Super duper. And can you see? I'm just like propping everything up and trying to dry off some of these little samples that I started yesterday. They're still drying. That's really wet. That one's dry. That one's still drying. That one's dry. And these, yeah, these are just propped up. So let's get cracking on the sewing machine. I've got a couple more samples to do. Okie dokie. On this one, I've got a long straight of calico. And all I want to do is just have a go at doing this idea. 
and sewing through the middle. Uh, I'm going to start here. This is a quick idea. I'm just really interested just to see what we can do with just long thin strips of calico. I'm going to just sew straight stitch through the middle. Okay, what have we got there? Bish bash bosh. Just a quickie little textile sample fold it over. So all these little samples that I'm doing, it's just going to look fun when you start putting them together. Right now, bear with me, they are going to be combined together. So the next one that I'm going to do is I've just ironed a load of pleats into this small square. So what I've decided to do is just fold these side of the pleats down and do a straight line. <laughs> See Daisy. Okay, crikey, that was a bit of a tangle. And I'm just gonna do the same again on this side. Okay, that's that's it done. We'll have a look again at that in a sec. This one I've just got doubled up layer of calico in a square, and we're gonna do a bit of slashing through the fabric. So I just want some straight parallel lines. Now, what I want to do is just cut through the layers. Just going to rough the fabric edges up a little bit, make them stand up. I actually quite like it just like that. I mean, we could actually stitch across here changing those up a bit. I'm going to set the ovens going. Maybe I could leave one like that. Just look at everything I've got already. I'm not sure. Maybe I'll leave it as it is. So I'm just going to stop there for the day as the light is leaving us. So I've got some samples that just need drying off and tomorrow we'll check in again and we'll have a look at how these samples are looking on the mannequin. So they're all done now and really happy with how they look. I ended up with the quilling and the little cones, just glue gunning those on as they were a little bit more secure. Let's try them on the mannequin now and see how we go. So these are the bits here that we've got, some of the samples. And so what I'm just gonna do is literally play around with putting them on top up here. So straight away, I really like the cones one. I think this has got some potential here to do larger scale ones. Um, but I'd quite like to see them on a shoulder. So I'm just gonna pin those down like that. Yummy. Right, and then I love this one. I mean, they're just nice as samples, but I like to see them up here. It's quite nice for height on the other shoulder. And because we've got quite a bit of built up area, ooh, actually, this one's quite high too, so. have made some more maybe I will do another video making some more I 
as I'm switching things around, I'm just looking at the balance of it all. Like when you're getting dressed up and you're like trying one shoe, I always try on an outfit with one different shoe on one foot and one on another just to see what they look like. That's just my way of doing it. But yeah, just um, it's a little bit like that with this, you know, just trying to see what looks best. I mean, there's quite a bit of height going on. There's quite a bit of height going on over here. But I like it. And then we've got a little bit of height over here. It's quite nice there. We've got a panel coming down with horizontals and then your verticals. Quite flat going into my big, quite 3D broad shoulders coming in. Like it. I just want to see what it looks like with the paper one. thank you so much for watching this video today and if you enjoyed it please do subscribe like and comment it really does help me out and support me so thank you so much and i will see you in the next video